It was an easy decision to turn blah into beautiful. But now you're wondering, is it hard to install laminate flooring? In this video, I'll walk you through the basics so you'll have the confidence to do it yourself. Before you buy, you'll need to measure your floor. Then add 10% for cutting and waste. Inspect your subfloor before you begin. It must be clean, dry, and level to 3 16 of an inch within a 10-foot span. If installing over a concrete subfloor or crawl space, you'll first need to put down a 6 mil vapor barrier. Always use an underlayment padding between the vapor barrier and the planks unless a pad is already attached to the planks. Start your planks along the longest wall in your room by arranging the first two rows so that the wood grain pattern does not repeat itself. The tongue side goes against the wall, but only after you use your saw to remove the tongue. Use spacers to leave a 5 16 to 3 8 inch expansion gap between the planks and the wall. Then click together the long side of the first row. When you get to the end of the row, turn a new plank upside down and over to mark the correct length of the gap you'll be filling. Remember to first place those spacers in there so the size is accurate. After cutting the plank to the accurate length, put it into your gap. Use a heavy-duty pull bar to tap together until the end joints click. Begin the next row with a shorter piece of at least 12 inches so that the joints are staggered. But first remove the tongue from the narrow side that will face the wall so that end can rest flush against the spacers. Next, insert the long tongue side into the groove side at a 20 degree angle. Use a scrap piece of laminate with the short side protruding. Or a tapping block to gently tap the plank in several places on the long side to ensure the locking joint is fully engaged. Use a tapping block or the short side of a scrap piece of laminate to tap the end joints together until they lock. When done, remove your spacers. Fill the gap with a foam backer rod. Then create a watertight seal by applying 100% silicone sealant along the entire perimeter of the room and around fixed objects. Use your finger or a caulk spreading tool to go back over the bead to ensure the silicone completely covers the gap between the flooring and the wall. Also apply the silicone sealant to the face of your molding that will rest on the floor to keep water out. Place the molding against the floor, then nail it to the wall, not to the floor. With only a few tools, a spare weekend, and no experience, you can give your floor a beautiful makeover.